Now to San Francisco, where a man wept in court after he allegedly killed his wife in a drug lab explosion. Neighbors now speaking out, saying they noticed unusual activity in the suspect's home prior to the blast. Betty Yu picks up this story. Darren Price appeared distraught in court, where he learned he'll be released from jail under strict house arrest. The judge determined that he did not act with malice or intent to harm others, just negligence. His wife of nine years, Rita Price, died in the explosion. Her caretaker was badly burned. Darren has to find a suitable home approved by the sheriff's department. The explosion left his next door neighbors also without a home. This is what's left of David and Nang's house just days before the blast. When I opened the window um, my dining um, in my dining room window, that's next connects to that bathroom and I smell very strong of marijuana. I heard somebody was coughing a bit and um, from the um, from downstairs and at that time. So and then because my daughter has played it, I have to close the window because I don't want them to smell it. The prosecutor said neighbors and his teenage daughters complained about the smells coming from the drug lab. He said Price was processing hash oil using multiple butane tanks. Thing I used to chat to Darren a little bit and say good morning, you know, talk about the weather or whatever. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. But you know, nothing more than much more than that. He told yeah. me that he flips houses for a living. A few months ago, Nang said she noticed unusual activity outside the home. Big truck back back up to his house. Um, and then I saw like six or seven guys, like tall, eight between 25 to 35. And they carry a, a heavy duty, like a, almost like a kitchen supply, like sink and metal and huge box and things. So I was thinking that's odd. Price will be allowed to see his children, but the judge said he won't be allowed to talk about the explosion. We are relieved that he will be physically out of custody, that he can start participating in the arrangements for the funeral for Ms. Price and also be connected with his children and support them at this time. Law enforcement can search Price's residence and electronic devices at any time, and he can't leave his home without prior approval. We're a bit concerned that they let Darren Price out on uh, on bail today. Um, you know, we do understand that uh, he did not do anything deliberately, um, but we don't really know what his state of mind is now. And uh, um, I mean, you know, there's a side of me that feels bad for the guy. He didn't want to kill anybody. He just made some bad decisions.